what's up youtube happy new year to everybody i hope you guys just uh, landed in new year with uh, lots of hopes lots of joy and lots of happiness and um yeah here i am with another quick video it's not actually quick video it was just uh, something spontan uh one of the family members requested me to drop um uh, a crane uh, a truck with a crane it's called libya uh, 11 30 and it's in front of me and i'm going to um just uh, go around with it just to show you before the sun goes. came a bit earlier because i just wanted to make some videos before the sun goes and uh yeah i my relative does uh transport he has maybe three elkaves four i will show you one of them is just somewhere there and uh so this is not my daily um this is not actually my job but i'm just uh, helping him because today i have off let me just put you here so that you can listen to me yes today i have a, I the whole of this week since the first of january i was i was at home and <clears throat> so last night he requested me to drop this uh, machine here to a place called uh, kiel it's about uh, 300 400 kilometers away from here it's going to another country i don't know where exactly but i don't want to reveal exactly where it is going for me it's just dropping there uh, i never ever drove a such kind of truck before but i drove it if you have watched some of my videos i drove a um, uh, mercedes actros with a crane but i was this was a small crane doing some small uh, dropouts with uh, some um, building materials but this one is really for heavy heavy commercial purposes I think it's uh, the truck itself weigh about um, 70 to 80 a uh, ton. It's really heavy. But I will just tell you guys what kind of a lib Libya itself. Uh, Genau and... Um, the truck? Yeah, so... Uh, they have... Uh, they had to remove the, um, the telescope. The booming telescope. Here, this is what I mean. This is where the telescope comes out to lift some heavy stuff. Um, yeah, so let's go up and see what is it there. So this is LT1130. It's five axle. But uh, yes, it's, I think I don't have the key. I will remove the key later. I will ask him for the key. Yeah, this is front axle, but it's a four wheel. But I think it's also propels, it drives also from the, I think the main drive shaft goes to the third axle. And uh, yeah, it's really heavy piece of machine. And uh, yeah, Libra, it's a German company, it's made from, I think, Mercedes. It's the same with Mercedes, these are uh, to support. And the tie size, uh, the tire size is uh, 95 and uh, yeah it has a different uh, different uh, engine it has two engines the main engine and the engine to uh, uh, you know to operate the whole uh, hydraulic system I think it's up here oh, this one needs to be put together uh-huh yeah so guys it's beyond my uh beyond my knowledge but this is the cabin for the other engine to operate there let me show you here yes this is where by the driver sits there and operate the the crane by itself well cook look at this cylinder guys it's so big this is uh, lifting the other uh, th this uh, trailer also belongs to uh, to the guy and also the truck there let me show you this trailer also a uh, loading trailer it is to carry some machines uh, it's called transport and he just leaves it here yeah so this is also belongs to him 
and uh, also this truck here belongs to him also this is Iveco I think so yeah Iveco this is also his truck and also another truck stays there in front I will show you when I'm going uh, it's loaded also with another crane 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 and uh, yeah I think we are going to drive together I'm going to drive this one here and yeah he's going to drive his truck with um, with the crane loaded on it because I think that the customer bought them I think it looks um, I don't know exactly how he does business but what I know that he does a uh, transport he has different kind of customers who um, hire his trucks to drive some places especially outside outside the country and uh, so he buys these things for people and uh, sending them to their to their destination so yeah so that's it guys and uh, I will look for the key and then and then try to see what kind of uh, information is there what kind of details uh, I think it's uh, I will not really share much because honestly I need to go also to check also to do some research about it and then to let you know and uh, yeah but right now we'll go back yeah for those who are following my other videos my garage and my master I bought a uh, hard top it's not me a cabrio cabrio it's, it's it's gone it's a hard top let me go like this then you see in summer I will make a review about it and uh, to tell you guys the process how I did it <laughs> yeah for those who are interested in my garage but today it was about this thing here so let's look for the keys and then so guys this is another truck uh, loaded already with uh, with a crane let me just go here uh, it belongs also to him and I think he's going to drive this one with another crane I don't know what kind of a crane is this I think it works for the app with uh, it has something to do with uh, lifting some heavy stuff also I think it's the same as what I'm going to drive Libera Libera or Libera according to how you understand the word but uh, yeah this is Iveco I drove it once <laughs> and it gave me a lot of problems on the way uh, but I hope he fixed it he's going to drive it and uh, I think I'm going to follow him behind because uh, my crane will drive about uh, the, the, the the highest speed that you can drive is 70 or 80 km per hour mm -hmm. But uh, let's see Speta, ne? Yeah, so guys, maybe I will not be able to make much of the much videos because it's getting dark. Let me show you yeah, It's evening. It's winter time now here and uh, Trying to this uh, uh, Number three axle was a bit uh, low in pressure and I've been standing here 20 minutes pumping it because uh, the tire really takes a lot of pressure. I mean the pressure is at uh, 8 bar but the problem is it's only small inside so that's why it takes a lot of pressure but in a small, um, small amount of air that enters inside. And um, yeah, so I hope I could make quick videos just inside I haven't shown you yet how it looks inside we just came here somewhere to to pump it and uh, yeah it will be a nice experience to see how this thing drives it's heavy I think it makes a lot of noise due to the uh, so many threads on the tires and uh, due to the size of the tire I think this is uh, 95 or 96 size yeah we'll just see later and uh, yeah this is the biggest uh, the biggest hydraulic cylinder I've ever seen it's so big to lift such kinds of heavy stuff telescope boom is this it's called telescope booming uh, yeah so I am here now on where we sit and we drive it. Boy, it has so big door here. What my 
So this is how the dashboard looks like. It doesn't have much of information like the other trucks. Just really simple. This is just the the bottom controls of which I'm sorry that I cannot explain it much. I know only drive. Just to put the gear, this is just this is reverse. <laughs> this is neutral and this is drive. You just make bottom guys. If you see inside here the the indicator uh, the sticks and all this it's really actros it's really mercedes actros so that's why this uh, libra is product uh, it's a production of mercedes uh, if you see mercedes these are some oil pressure information and some maybe oil temperatures uh, all right let me give you some lights here uh, yeah so this is just accelerator and brakes there's nothing else automatic uh this is with chibe we call it with chibe with um paper paper disc it doesn't have the uh you have to write some information about the driver before you drive yes i will make a video of that uh information about chibe um these machines and here we have radio okay we have radio here what we have else here? Let me open it here. We have some <laughs> storage and also storage here. Yeah, so this is for a co-driver. If you want to drive with somebody, mm. some spaces. This is cut out to disconnect the whole electronic uh, in the system to disconnect everything, to disconnect power from, from everywhere. Uh, this is uh, speedometer and uh, yeah there's nothing much to tell actually about it windows opening and uh, some more storages here and uh, yeah I don't know what is this I think it's transmitter operator interface I think this uh, for you know the connection of the crane yes. so I was of um, mobile crane is uh they bought it at a price of four hundred thousand euros four hundred thousand euros if you convert into the cash i don't know in dollars really expensive thing guys so so much expensive and you can imagine just somebody bought it for their own businesses and uh yeah so i will drive this thing from here to a place called kiel it's um, a place called Kielport, Hafen. I uh, think from there it is going to be trans transported to another uh, destination. So I'm driving with this. Um, let me. It's just waiting for me here. I'm just making some videos. Um, he has three trucks. Um, I, I just help him when I have time. As I've said earlier that when I'm free I just drive his trucks i didn't want to do it uh, full-time family business because uh with family business i don't want to do anything with that uh, i just wanted to be separate <laughs> uh yeah he doesn't have much actually but uh, he's really busy a lot so when i have time also i just try to chip in to help him as a family member so guys uh, i think i will make another video when i'm driving uh to see where i will be i think we have to sleep there in kiel and then tomorrow morning we pick, uh, we, we hire a car and then we come back here where we are staying. And then on Monday I'm going back to my workplace, <laughs> to my Scania. So keep in touch guys, join us as we drive to Kiel and uh, hope to see you on the way. Subscribe to the channel for more such content, uh, surprises like this. <laughs> this was really a surprise. As I've said, I've never driven one before. It will be my first time, but it just... Gas, brakes, side mirrors, side mirrors. It's uh, this thing here. And this is where you put your ignition key. You start it. It's like our front loader in our uh, place of depot. So, guys, uh, let me just go outside to see if the pressure is full. I just changed the number plate right now. It can have all number plate. Oh, good man. I was almost falling down because it has shorter.
Yeah, as I've said earlier, we have removed the telescope boom, which is about uh, 60 meters long when it's really complete out. It comes out 60 meters. It can go, I don't know where. So, yeah, that's it. But we removed it just to uh, because we are driving really far. It's really heavy. The weight right now is 40 tons. It's 40 tons right now, but with uh, with all the mechanism, with all the components with it, it is going to weigh about 70 to... So it's going to be 60 ton in total. So you can tell how heavy it is. That's why it has... Yeah, the normal trucks, I think the normal trucks like that one is always about 2 meter, 2 meter point five. 2 meter 0.5 wide but this is a bit wider it is 2.70.7 wider so that's why you have to drive with special um, special peppers we call them genemigo but uh, yes and we have to drive always with uh, with these lights I don't know what you call them and uh, this is where the to operate the crane the driver sits there and also there are so many components there I cannot really go up because I don't know where to go, where to climb. And uh, yeah, this is the rotor that rotates the, the whole crane because this body, this body, let me just go here. The whole body with the crane with this cabin here has its own uh, rotation axis there. And uh, the whole system also has its own engine. So the engine of the truck is up here, but the engine of the crane and everything that operates the hydraulic system and all the pumps is here. So that's why they are different. They are, they are not together because of the power. So. Everything is button here, guys. Everything you have to make button, even lights. Wait, where's my lights? Even here you have to... Uh, this is lights, but I don't see the lights for now. Yes, I can see lights. I don't know. Full dim. You have also the... Yeah, so guys, just having some brakes here a bit. Uh, just to... Check this thing before I start driving. I just need to get used to some uh, information here uh, I've realized also I don't have really clear uh, um, what do you call it Klimaanlage in German sorry guys my English is really disappearing here Klimaanlage always you have really to to increase here to decrease here this is the fan yeah everything is with the buttons here and it's really disadvantageous because if something goes kaput or so because um, uh, gets um, the, the fuses and everything, and then everything is affected here. So, yeah, guys, it's me here. <laughs> yeah, um, I will connect later my GoPro just somewhere there. It's really the steering, guys. The steering is so so. I don't know. It takes really time to to respond when you. Uh, swift both sides left and right it takes you feel like it takes time it's power steering but you feel really like that it's it, it takes time to respond which is really not good for me because I've used to my truck you know it's it's responding immediately small truck but this is really bigger truck and uh, and before I drive it is always important to um, check if everything is working especially the lights because you are driving at night uh, it's really recommended that also uh, uh, to check the lights before so I have to put this uh, one hazard on and also this abnormal light and also the lights yeah this one's also what kind of lights also do I need to see okay let me go outside to see if everything is working because well, I checked already the brakes were not working the brake lights but uh, so far everything looks okay so side lights 
Umrechtbeleuchtung oder so. This is how I learned it in Germany. Yeah, everything is working here. Also here. So that one also is working. Really good. So this, the indicator is working. Yeah, indicator right side is working. So I think so far everything is working good. So we just need to go. So also this one is working. So the lights are not the perfect ones, honestly, because you see. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think this truck drives at night more. But uh, yeah, the new number plate. So this is another machine. I don't know what kind of a truck is this. But I just want to climb up here to see if it has a... The... Let me go up here. Oh, my, what is this guys? Please let me know in the comments. What do you think? What kind of a truck is this? Because honestly it has here some pipes. Some things like pipings. I really don't know what is this thing here. It's the same thing. Sorry, sorry guys. It's the same crane, mobile crane truck. This is where by the uh, the body sits on this hole with this big bearing with uh, you know to rotate so the you know, Loading safety is the most priority here Because if you don't hello Yeah, but it's yeah now gleich Yeah So yeah, this is the small crane. I don't know which number, what kind of a mech is it. I don't think it's Liber, 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 Liber. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit newer. Uh, it seems to be brand new actually. It has not been used so much. But I can't tell much about it because I really don't know. It's only that we are driving with this one also. It is going also to the the port of Kiel and uh, I don't have the keys I could go inside yeah it's really being tightened up I like. need to decide and uh, I honestly I don't like to drive this crown the way uh, this red crown this big one I just wanted to be given this Volvo and then fertig then I don't have to worry about anything because the other one is really big very gross I wish I could be given this one to drive. It is going to reduce my stress where the keys now it's locked. <laughs> this is uh, this is Iveco, yeah. Which model is this? Stralis. Yeah, it's really old. I don't know what kind of Iveco is this. I drove once, and uh, yeah, I had some breakdowns with it but it's really drive nice it's it's really nice truck it has a lot of power but uh yeah let me see once again how it looks like behind yeah that's it so we start the journey guys i think i'm putting the wrong key if i put so bright here. Yeah, and that's how we started the journey. Let me remove the brightness here. My sprite here, my water is here. And <laughs> yes, I hope we will, we will get where we are going because uh, it's really far we have to sleep somewhere on the way and then to proceed or maybe just drive completely and then sleep there and then wake up in the morning and put this machine in the ferry and then we come back also with the other truck that uh, my other guy is driving <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying my other guy my relative this is my 
father-in-law actually let me just say it that way and uh, so I'm driving with him uh, I think he's going to drive in front of me and then I'm going to follow him behind so join us as we drive this thing started moving <laughs> I'm just trying to follow him behind uh, because I never got really uh, enough orientation for the truck I just came saw the truck and then I was told just let's go I mean normally with such kind of trucks you have to uh, Normally you have to get a lot of orientation from the people who have uh, experience, né? but uh, for me, <laughs> we learn as we go, yeah, this is my guy, <laughs> he's checking his truck, yeah, he said something is wrong with his truck, so let me go and see what is wrong. So, <laughs> this guy has, let me go and see what is happening. So guys, the, we never even went more than 200 meters and then we have a small problem with the, with Iveco. Uh, the trailer, one of the axles, the brakes is really tight. It's not releasing the brake. The brake... You can't see it quite now because it's really, uh, I mean, it's dark, it's at night, it's only the lights that you can see. But uh, yeah, on the right side, on the left side, this is Hamburg Hafen. I used to pick the containers here. Yeah, I've already driven away. 
So that is how suppose it should be. That is how it should be. That is how suppose it should be. Uh, when you have really uh, something that is more than the recommended size, you have to have a, what we call an escort car, escort car. Kennst du den Weg A2? Ja. Fahren wir jetzt schon vor. Ja. So vor. Nach Hannover. Und dann ja. Hamburg. So guys, just arrived the place, it's not really exactly the destination where we are going, but uh, let me switch off this thing up, oh, I am so tired, <laughs> wow, 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 so we are in Kiel right now, I think it's, uh, what is blinking here? Also, I need to put on something, but yeah, guys, uh, yeah, so what can I tell you? <laughs> this thing drives well, okay, it's heavy, uh, it makes a lot of noise. I can't really feel anything right now, I just want to go to sleep, and uh, yeah, we we'll see what we are going to do the next uh, thing tomorrow. So yeah, let's meet tomorrow guys and then I will update you uh, our next uh, steps. So, good morning guys. <laughs> it's morning. Sorry, my eyes are really red. Just woke up. <laughs> Slept in the truck. It's really loud here. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, I just wanted to update you guys that we are going to leave this crown here and also this one. Uh, yeah, this one here. And also the other one here. <laughs> yeah, somebody will continue with the journey on Monday because uh, today is on Saturday. Uh, we have to hire the, the car here to take us back to our homes. <laughs> because uh, for us it was just to bring the things here. I was helping the guy here to just bring this Libra here and uh, yeah, so guys, I just wanted to ask you, please, if you like the video, subscribe and uh, to the channel. And uh, yeah, we will see us and uh, God bless you. Right now we are in Kiel, uh, Hafen. And uh, yeah, you can hear some birds running around. And uh, yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching the channel. And God bless you so much. And uh, till next time, I wish you guys God blessings. And uh, stay safe, stay alert, and uh,
you like this video please subscribe to my new channel please i ask you guys please subscribe to the channel uh it will really encourage me more to make more videos and uh yeah to have more time for you guys to you know do all this stuff so thank you so much and 